In this segment, we'll take a look at how to add text in general and links in particular to the video. You'll also see that some things have been added. Whoops, not that though. Um, to the graphic organizer since the last time we were together. Uh, one thing, well, I filled in all of the photos for each arrow in both the larger graphic organizer and the embedded environmental science graphic organizer. I sort of cheated a little bit. You'll see that this picture is used in both as is this picture in the text that I added on top of it. Adding text is very simple. We're in, in show mode right now, so you can't edit. Uh, and adding links and adding text is pretty much the same thing, so I'm going to escape from show mode. And this is the only photo in the graphic organizer that I did not take myself. So I want to give that credit by going over here to this site of helicopter photos of the Niagara Whirlpool and the Niagara, Niagara Falls as well. Um, so I'm just going to copy this URL and paste it in over here. Um, and when I click in general, it expects you to, the default is to add text. So there I click and I add text. And I'm going to make it a single line. And I, of course, don't want it looking that big. So I click somewhere else and then I click on it again. And I'm just going to put it in at the top of the photo that it, um, that I'm looking for a citation for. And a thing that I think is a little bit confusing in using Prezi is that even when I go into show mode, this link won't won't do anything right now. I can zoom in on it like that, but it's not a live link. And if it was a live link, the uh, and I was in full screen mode as I am, those uh, um, clicks that I did would would lead to um, other windows or other tabs opening up. In order for that link to become live, I have to exit and then reopen the Prezi. And when I do that, then the links will be live. So I got out, and now I can either play the Prezi, which is what I'll do for the sake of the video, and I'm not actually going to play it zooming through, but I will uh, go to each, go to the things I want to go to, and you can see now the link is underlined, so it's a live link. I click on it, I don't really see anything happening. Again, a little bit confusing, but if I escape, uh, then I've opened up that website. And you can see before I hit, I was looking at this one, it's opened a, a repeat of the tab. So that's how you add links. It's the same way that you add text, um, and that's all there is to that.